master. The truth master. <laughs> um, folks, I want to introduce someone to you. His name is Bob. Um, he is a docent here, here at the USS Hornet. And also, uh, believe it or not, he is also a model kit maker here. Um, actually, it was totally by accident. When I was walking here on the flight deck, um, Bob just flagged me down and asked me, you know, who am I? And I said, well, I'm, I'm just who I am. And he said, <laughs> <laughs> he said, are you this guy named QDC, you know, 7468A on YouTube? And I said, exactly yes. what I said, word for word. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're just talking right now we're just being buddies um it's a small world it really is it is a small world yes you never know who you're gonna run into he so, was asking us a question about the ship and i just said i know your face and i know your voice because i are you a modeler and bang there it goes that was it <laughs> so um what, what, USS Hornet? Uh, well, USS Hornet, if you, uh, if you ever want a nice day, um, we do guided tours above uh, the island, which is right behind me here. Uh, we do guided tours down into the engine room. If you just want to come around and walk around by yourself, we got areas you can do that. Uh, we do have a lot of things that go on on the sideline, um, especially on November 17th, we are having an IPMS modeling contest. Uh, we are getting a uh, uh, IPMS um, club designation for one day every year it's where we call the ipms gray ghost which is the name of the hornet so if you can make it come on by on the 17th all right so i'm qdc and this is bob thanks for watching hi i'm qdc we're back on board the uss hornet and the reason why i brought you here onto this aircraft carrier is because of my next project what we're about to build is air fixes 172nd scale A4 Skyhawk and this video is also a, a tribute to a US politician, United States politician his name was John McCain during the Vietnam War he flew an A4 Skyhawk and he actually flew off of an aircraft carrier very similar to this one the USS Hornet because this is a, a, an Essex class um, aircraft carrier and it served from World War II really up to the 1960s and he was on board a, an aircraft carrier called the USS Oriskany. So before we start building this kit, I want to tell you more history about the, uh, about, about the aircraft and also more about John McCain. Come along with me. Okay, so right now we're inside the hangar deck and right behind me is the actual A4 Skyhawk. So this is uh, the famous A4 Skyhawk and it was invented uh, by a man named Ed Heinemann. The design of the aircraft was to be small and, sim and simplistic and it was small enough to actually use on a small aircraft carrier like this one here on board the USS Hornet. So Senator John McCain um, flew in this uh, particular aircraft like this one um, over over the Vietnam War over the Vietnam during the Vietnam War. <laughs> Let's go take a look inside this box. We have one plastic bag containing the wings and the fuselage. decal and the instruction sheet.
All right, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what, about, what I think about this kit so far. Take a look. This is a completed model kit before painting and weathering, and I am impressed with this model kit. When I first bought this kit, I didn't have high expectations in, term, in terms of its outcome. Since this was labeled as a beginner kit that included its own paint set and glue, I thought that this kit would be not that good to build. I thought that the kit would have very few parts, poor fit, and the details would be not to my own expectations. But I was wrong. This kit is very well detailed um, for a beginner kit. It has things that I didn't think that a beginner kit would include, like the speed brakes, the flaps, and a fairly detailed interior. So I am impressed with this model kit. This is a good kit for all skill levels to build. It's time for me to paint the model. It's time for me to paint the model. I already gave the entire model a coat of black primer, and now I'm going to use my airbrush and start painting the model. I finished painting the model kit and applied the decal, but before I go on, I want to talk to you more about the colors that I used. When you first look at the model, you're, you see basically two colors. One is the white on the bottom and gray on top. And I want to focus your attention more on to the gray color. When you look at the gray color, you look, you look at it and you see it's only one color, gray. But in reality, there are four different colors. When a light hits on an object, it creates shadows and highlights. And I created that illusion by painting four different colors of gray onto this model kit. And here is the actual colors I've used. This is the shadow, the base color, 
the highlight and the bright highlight. And use all these four colors to make this model kit look the way it is. But when you look at it, it, it seems to be like one color, but it's an optical illusion. Okay, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you the whole entire kit from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is the completed model kit after painting and weathering, and I like the way I painted this model kit. Uh, the only real weathering that I've done was really in the cockpit and for the landing gear and everything else was simply painting and adding on the decal. Since this model kit is dedicated to Senator John McCain, I looked on the internet to find John McCain's decal set for, uh, for this scale model size, and there were not any I could find. So I had to settle for the kit supply decal, which is actually good for the most part, but some of the uh, decals were brittle, and so they tore off. So I had to omit them onto the, onto the model. But other than that, everything in this model kit was really good. And I think it's well worth uh, anyone, any skill level, from the beginner to the advanced to build this model kit. Now, I want to talk about really the stigmatism about a beginner's model kit, which I had in the past, but starting with this kit, I'm beginning to have a, a different point of view. A lot of uh, advanced, well, I won't say a lot of advanced, but there are advanced and intermediate modelers who would shy away from a model kit like this because it's labeled as a beginner's model kit. That includes paint, a glue, and a brush, a brush set. And so they would shy away from this model kit. And I would just say, go beyond that because this kit is actually good. Uh, it's easy to build and you know it's easy to paint and really what you get out of it is a nice decent model kit that you're going to really enjoy. At least I did and I think to me this is a winner. That completes this model project. What you're about to see is a video slideshow of the entire model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy, just like you. So in this slideshow, what you're about to see is um, not only just the model itself, but also I'm going to add a, a tribute for, um, for Senator John McCain. Because, um, well, I'm an American and he's an American and I respect his, uh, his service both in the military and also being a U.S. politician. I'm QDC and thanks for watching.
Stripes and bright stars through. 